I got to start learning the the layout of the Frank. Yeah, that was Gemini. Yeah, right. Press the attack for Lucian. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, for Lucian, and then first strike for the LeBlanc. Yep. First strike on the other side on Rumble. As you expect into these tanks, there's the first first strike proc for one on six. Yeah, it's gonna have a great trade. trade. Yeah. Plus five gold all around. Now, how will this mid lane go? I, I assume it's Lucian favored. Generally, Lucian, I mean, LeBlanc suffers into these AD carries. Yeah. Um, just, you know, she doesn't really get a lot of power until later on. Yeah, a big advantage for the AD carries, though. Like, champions like the Corky can build a Hex Drinker, but you feel really bad building a Hex Drinker this game. Would just be for the LB. It might still be worth it if you're a pretender. I'm not. Honestly yeah, I don't sure. think you'll need it. I, I think you just pretender should just be ahead in this lane because LeBlanc can't really one shot you, and so because she can't one shot you, if she ever goes forward, you just win an extended trade. Yep. Uh, just fall further and further behind. Generally, yeah, one on six going to try just keep up via first strike prop. Yeah. Plus, because of the state that this lane ends up in. It becomes a lot easier for Gemini to search for plays around the map. They have a, He's obviously going to have a winning top in the Rumble versus Cassante, a winning middle lane for the Lucian, and by the looks of things, even a winning bottom lane. I, ha I, I don't know how Kongyue plays this. Nothing feels worse than just having a bunch losing of losing lanes. lanes. Yeah. Yeah. Middly, he does want to just sort of hit six, and then he... Yeah, you're glad you're on a ca uh, ganking jungler. When that is the case, and as you said, here is Gemini to be annoying. Forces yes, right. So this smite. is a bunch of pings going down on the red buff, and it should just be Gemini's. Yeah, level three Vi, not the strongest at contesting this. Gemini is also probably throwing a sapling over that wall to spot him. I wings here to make one on six. This is life a little more miserable. <laughs> ah. Yeah, this is going to slow down Vi level six Ooh, so okay, much. Okay, so I mean, that, I don't think that was worth it. Rel is here. <laughs> it's gonna give a nice reset for Lil V, but oh my god! It's Chan Lines on his way up, but I'm not sure what for. Just way too late to the play. Yeah, Kongo A just gonna settle for the bot crap here. Isn't too far behind. Also, if you factor in Gemini, it has to get back to his bot side real quick because <laughs> his whole bot side is up. Gemini just canceling his supports recall over and over again. Yeah. Gemini spam pinging his camps, but there's I don't see how he stops his raptors being stolen here. Maybe Lucian, he's running straight at his raptors. Oh, Hongyue could be in trouble. He's just going for a recall. And he's onto him. Yeah, a bit of a... No, oh, Kongyue just has to base while Maokai gets to clear his whole bot side now. Pretty nice jungling from Gemini. Good use of all his winning lanes. Yeah. Marco just happy to 2v1 down bot. He's playing Zaya. Can farm from afar with those feather daggers. Oh, this is a lane position. Yeah, this doesn't look great for you. Oh. Wave is coming to him now, so he should be okay. He has TP as well. Maybe just has to use it sooner rather than later, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Leaning against Rumble. What a joyous time. Receiving a turbo shock rockets. Nice Q poke from Pretender. Yeah, that's insane. This guy. Very clean on the Lucian so far. 106 oh. doing a really good job just keeping up in farm, though. Might even be ahead in gold if he's got enough first strike rockets. Oh, Ryu oh. has just TP'd back to lane. Jung hasn't used his TP yet. I think Ryu is just fighting a little too hard for these creeps right now. Yeah, I think. He's to wait Jung for the here, wave. push the sun, recall, get a haunting guy. I imagine he probably has enough gold for, and this top lane is going to be looking quite rough. Jung is level six, so is in no rush to TP. You kind of have have a get out of lane state free card with the Rumble ulti whenever you want to. Fix your lane, push away, recall, whatever you want to do. 
Wow, okay, Khan coming through, 116, very low, but won't be going down. No TP on 1116. Has to get out of here too, because Gemini is here. So both solo laners for Frank hitting six first. There's Ryu getting his. Would have kind of liked to have seen Gemini just help push this wave in a little quicker, maybe. Although if he gets the Void Drops, then that's probably worth more. Yep. Char's actually here, and he's going to be up a lot of XP on this uh, Nautilus. I wonder if they can turn that into a Dragon for West Point. The Congo is starting it up. It should be theirs. Realizing that the Void Grubs are being done, so taking the objective on the other side. Yep, Gemini will see what he has to say about this, though he doesn't hit six, luckily, for West Point. So it looks like they will just get the dragon. You still suffering. Yeah, haunting guys, rot roll. Yeah, the wave is in a very worrying position for him. Uh, and he is going to need his jungler to bail him out, but his jungler needs to do some camps and hit level six. So we are going to sacrifice Cassante for the time being. Yeah, I mean, they kind of sacrificed Cassante by... Oh, oh Gemini, too advanced. deep, too deep. That could have been scary if uh, 116 was quick enough to mimic the distortion and... Yeah, jump further tower. into tower. That was very scary. Uh, if members of West Point were around as well. Hong Yue needs to just go stand in bot lane even and he gets level 6. One creep will do it. Oh, there's Gemini 6. Hong Yue doesn't realize the urgency, maybe. He needs to get level 6. Frank, looks like they just won't pull the trigger. Uh, and this is not how you want your early game to look like if you're LB. Uh, you kind of want to be the one applying pressure at this point in the game, especially. Uh, as we oh get into mid game God. now. Yeah, this has been frozen for a while. And Ryu has taken a full base, healed to full. I don't think he can break this freeze still. He just has to all in the rumble, right? But I'm not sure he actually wins. Oh, I'm pretty sure he loses. Oh, nice hook yeah. lands. Okay, crash down is going to unfortunately go wide as the lightning crash comes out of Lil V. Rooted up. Somehow that hits both of them. The most illegal double root of all time. And double root into potential double kill as Waku picks up first and second blood. Oh, what a tragedy. Also, West Point's bot lane so close to level 6 there on the Nautilus. Could have maybe waited for it. They had a big XP advantage and support. Instead, two kills go to Waku. Lil V got robbed. How did he get snared? Yeah, that was very, very strange looking. It's probably just an overcommitment onto the rel anyway, but uh, he continued walking. Yeah, but even then, he is almost directly behind Nautilus. Yeah. Had to just wait a second, little V, and then uh, then walk. Double kill now to Walker on the Zaya. Ryu's finally Yeah, he's allowed the minions. Wave. Char's even coming up here. Maybe we're looking for something aggressive onto this rumble. Yeah, good time to kill the rumble if you can do it. Oh, no. Gemini is going to spot a random Nautilus there. He looks for the Hex Flash, and he's got a red carpet now. As the Aftershock's going to deny quite a bit of damage. Gemini, though, oh, is completely oh, fine. All that's going to come through. And here we have a 3v2, but Kaiwing and Pretender are on their way. No one's gone down oh, just yet. The flash, no. the stun, the culling does get cancelled. It's a one for two as things stand, but Kongyo has got nowhere to go. And it's gone from bad to worse. It's three kills are picked up for Frank for just the one on West Point. Yeah, and there's the problem with having an LB under her tower the whole game. Pretender is just able to show up early to this fight and absolutely clean it up. Uh, it was looking pretty close already. Uh, just in the 3v2. But once uh, Kaiwing and Pretender get here, this fight is just immediately over. How long over. Char is just sitting? Yeah, Char also had the option to just hook away. And the fight there. I'm just going to map for Kaiwing. Another two kills go the way. Right? What is that? I thought Pretender might have got knocked up and cancelled Kaiwing, but he just... Maybe double pressed her. Yeah, maybe. Oh, some productivity here from West Point, looking for this red buff. And it should be theirs. And Void Grub's going to be the option here for Gemini. I'm pretty sure you're going to be very happy with that trade, if you are, Frank. 
Yeah, Kong Yue's got to find a way to link up with this LB. All right, let's hope this rail can't 2v1. Let's crash down, get some south back to safety, but there's going to be these t six Void Grubs in total for Frank. Yeah, that's going to be very annoying in the side lanes later against Lucian Rumble. Uh, and even just for now, a lot of chip damage on these towers. Plate's still up for three minutes. Oh, chain lands. Kongyue was there too, but... Yeah, but Gemini's just sitting in mid lane. Yeah. 116 already used Distortion. Landed the chain on the way back, so wasn't really any follow-up damage. Oh, Rumble has Leandris now. Yeah, he had that after the double kill. This this is a torturous top lane. Yeah. Almost down to half of Jiang's CS now is Ryu. And it's not going to get any better. Because eventually he has to start building armor oh in this my. game. Oh, okay. Wingley's here. Jiang, yeah, getting a little bit too uh, forward. Oh, 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 Jiang, he's trying to get away. Pathmaker, flash forward, Natofu strikes. It's going to require some heroics to get out, and heroics there will not be. It's going to be a shutdown picked up for Ryu. Yeah, they end up getting his flash out a of the rumble too. A little bit of mis miscommunication. I feel like that all out probably shouldn't have happened. Yeah, or it could have just been in the opposite direction. It doesn't yeah. go over the wall and look cool, but it yeah. does push him into the tower. Yeah, and it's, also just kept him closer to Kong Yue, right? Yeah. But I think either way, was, they got the shutdown. He was worried about Rumble just flashing out over the wall and just being out, I think. Maybe. In any case, they did manage to pick that up. It was a shutdown and... Yeah, much needed much gold. Much needed gold onto Ryu's Cassante here, although he still will be suffering up in the top lane. It is something. Well, and Six managed to get some kind of priority in the middle lane and take a plate for himself. Finally, some gold into this LB, who hopefully you have to pray has her mythic. Yeah. So, one on six and Kong Yue. This is, sorry, legendary <laughs> item. This this is their chance now to impact the map. Relative to the rest of the game, this is probably the biggest gap they will have uh, in this game. Down this much gold as well, 4k gold. Uh, their relative power is very high right now in mid jungle. Yeah, I think the problem is the power for everyone on Frank is just so high. Yeah, they're you just kind behind. Of very, very behind. Somehow stall out this game, but it does. Gemini could be out of position here. Yeah, maybe, but he is a Marakai to advance forward. We have found he's everyone. Very out of position. Nature's Grass should be coming through. There's a bunch of CC down, and in comes Kai Wing, in comes Waka. Out of position, you may have thought. But Pretender might be the one going down first. There's Vault Breaker used here from Kongyue to try and get him out of harm's way. the Storm is going to give that kill over to Waka as Kongyue will be taken down. It took a lot. But eventually, they were able to find him. Yeah, it's a very close fight, and Kongyue didn't even get a chance to ulti. I wonder if that would have changed the fight if he could have ulted onto Gemini's Maokai or something. That might have been a trade kill. Maybe he did use it and it's bugged. We'll have a look. He starts with a Q on the Kai Wing. Here immediately already he could be ulting Gemini, I think. Uh, or even here, I think he could ult a Lucian as well, and he's definitely dead. But Kongyue just got dizzy in this fight, I think. Oh, his ulti wasn't up. It was just coming up during the fight. Did use a top uh, on the top play? Yeah, very unfortunate timing for West Point to run into a fight there. A lot of members around Jiang. He's going to have to play carefully. It's dead to me. I don't think he's careful enough. Yeah, a lot of people on him. Going to put down that red carpet from the equalizer and do a bit of damage back, but not all that much. Is yeah, it gets the wave. Yeah. And nah. the rest of his team taking this rift yield. Very bold of uh, West Point to go for that play, considering the entirety of Frank were topside. But they yeah. managed to find the timing to make it work. Yeah, the game feels like it's in a weird state now, where the ultimates for each team are just out of sync, but very important. Like the Maokai ult versus Vi ulti are just out of sync. So these teams are finding these very short windows to force when the enemy team can't even really fight back. Uh, yeah, quietly scaling away is Lil B in this game, but Wako is not quietly scaling. Yeah, 3-0. 
What's he going to build? Kongyue I reckon, yeah. Kongyue going to be found. Knocked up. A lot of CC coming through. Massive Magnet Storm and the Feather Storm as well to boot. Almost six, though. He's found himself on a flank. Nice chain landing here onto Kaiwing on that rail. Hook as well. But Wako's got the Feather Storm. The rip back is huge. Only just will Lil V survive. But the same cannot be said for Char 9. It's the trade of supports. All things said and done. But a bunch of teleports used. and Very low health bars for West Point. Yeah, West Point had to commit two TPs just to get the one for one there, and they might lose two towers mid even. No TP for 1116, as we just said. Can they stop? I think the second Herald crashes, but maybe it's a stretch to get oh, the tower. Oh, okay, no. We, uh. Gemini's got places to be. People to see. What well, towers to take? Oh, he missed. he missed it. Oh, oh that was so, so close. close. So close to glory. Well, at least we know who does not have their forklift license. Yeah. Feng, Feng was the person who did this originally, right? Uh, I, I think so. Last split. He had like the crazy 360 no-scope Rift Herald. Presenta going to get himself a tower up that top side. Took about five tower shots as well. Marco found a low no ulti. Yeah, the rest of his team's there. We'll have a red buff for himself now as we shouldn't be fighting just yet. Jung push on out that top wave. It is a dragon though. Hextech Soul. It'll be dragon number two for West Point. Yeah, dragon West Point's two straight on as it. Well. But yeah, started up early. Jung not the TPing yet. There it comes. He comes to teleport. Char might just be caught out before his team can really do anything. But it's a really, really nice engage coming through from West Point. But still not quite enough. They do manage to take out Wako. But that's just one of the two AD carries. This Pretender's got all the damage you'd ever need. So does Jung. There's a double kill there for this Rumble. Only 116 does survive. But it's going to be the Dragon and the team fight win for Frank. They actually find an incredibly clean engage onto Wako. Kongyue does before Wako can get the Zaya ulti out. But... The rest of these Frank members just look too fed. Little V ends up going down because of how far he has to extend to get on to this Zaya. And yeah, this was a really nice go. I Kong Yue, very clean, actually catches Wako. Uh, but Little V has to commit so hard to kill him that he just goes down to Pretender and a Sapling here. Yeah, I don't even really know what happened, but everyone on Frank just disintegrated. Just at once. Yeah. Almost I, in the time that Waka was knocked up, everyone had died. Yeah. Well, I'm guessing it's just Rumble. Probably. Yeah. Most most likely. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. That confirms it. Rumble and Pretender doing the heavy lifted in that team fight. Yeah. LB up to nothing. Yeah. I mean, it feel like a rough game for LB. I think just, you know, seeing Tristana and Corky Band, you're like, wow, I can get myself a LeBlanc game. Yeah, Frank definitely trying to show you that's not correct. Nice damage Decent coming chunk. out there. Yeah, especially if the chain lands there. That's a massive chunk. So he's getting there on the LB. But you pretty much have to be at the point where QRE just one shots on LB. Uh, for you to have had a successful early game. And that still feels very far away for 1116. Yeah, that does feel very far away, but what isn't is the Baron buff, which is spawning in 35 seconds. 280 carries on the side of Frank means that if they get any time alone with it, the Purple Worm will be getting absolutely blown up. Uh, I don't like the Runans from Little V here. Kongyue. Oh, okay. We've connected at the very end. and Oh, oh my God. Lord. Yep. Well, try as you might, there's absolutely no way out. Uh, and the timing on this pick just 15 seconds before Baron. This might actually give Frank a window to do the Baron. Possibly. Now, there's no Magnet Storm and there's no Nature's Grasp, so I don't think they'll be confident enough to, to pull the trigger in a 4v5, missing two of your biggest teamfight ultimates. Yeah, okay. Ultimately, if they get nothing out of the kill, it's fine for West Point. Just making making Kongyue's KDA bad. Yeah. Also, a bit of trolling there done by West Point. Picked up the red buff about two seconds. Before oh, we hit before the 20 it was minute a team mark. wide buff. Yeah. yeah. That's it. I think that's actually more important than, you know, people take it for. Just a bunch of good stats to get from the red buff. Yeah. I agree. Just slows on autos for your whole team is pretty good at feeling too. Health regen. A lot of good stuff. But in any case, Lil V has it, so he'll have the slows on his autos.
I, yeah, I, I just want to go back to the Runans on Little B. It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, there are three melee champions on the enemy team, but that isn't really your goal to kill those guys. What would you go? Uh, probably just BT into IE or something. Just acknowledging that I'm spending this game face tanking Xia, Lucian, Rumble, and just trying to out damage them. Yeah, maybe. I, I think BT seconds not that good. You just don't have the damage. The reason why champs like Misfortune get away with it is just the W amplification. Frank maybe setting something up. Cha. Cha slowed up by a sapling. Oh, just Gonna forced to flash. flash. Doesn't go for the Q. And Frank any second now can hit the spare, and then that is what's stressing West Point out. A lot of pings to engage. Oh my god, the flash, the engage, it's perfect. And Frank, just like that, absolutely destroy 116 and Char 9. Yeah, in a blink of an eye, they're both gone. Frank are patient and don't jump on Char the first time they see him. They get his flash off of him and then Highwing finds an even better go. Oh, we saw it last week. We saw Gemini. He was able to get in that pit and steal the Baron, but Kongue getting seen by the sapling is going to choose to not go for it. Baron buff now, 22 minutes in, secured by Frank Esports. They're 10k gold ahead. And they're looking good to take at least game number one here. Yeah, third item completed for Waka now, because Kasante has a chain vest uh, to try to deal with the three items, Zaya. So he is going to die very, very quickly. Getting pretty close to a flame horizon in the top lane. Yeah, dangerously close. Oh, Char. Hex flashing away from these teleporting in members of Frank. Pretender. 4 0 4, having a great game for himself on the Lucian. Yeah, all game. Putting pressure at mid and then. This is what he was practicing his AD carry last split for. Ah, yeah. 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 All right, Varus mid next. He foresaw, he foresaw the, the future and realized, you know what? Next split, AD carry mids. Let me get a few reps in early. There's no wave clear <laughs> at all for the Swiss point side. So even though the waves are very far from being synced, as Gemini finds a three-man nature's grasp and it's just dismantling the side of West Point. Lil V and 116 will remain alive, but how long for Lil V? Lightning crash trying to find the damage here onto Pretender, but Lena's Pursuit gets him well out of harm's way. And now it's West Point with only two members, both their carries. Yes, they survive, but they've got to try and defend their base. It's 24 minutes in, and Frank just want to get it over and done with. Lilby almost dies in his fountain to rumble, but that should be Frank taking the game. Yeah, won't be able to go down, and some final attempts at Lilby's life will not be able to take him, but it is Frank in a very decisive and convincing fashion taking game number one. Looking for... Uh, Better form than last week, I'd say. Yeah, three winning lanes, and Gemini played that matchup immaculately. Got an advantage immediately. Uh, and then the game was just really impossible for West Point to play. Yeah. I think um, Frank may have done a bit of drafting kingdom. Yeah. Because yeah. one thing we didn't really touch on earlier on until we were already in the game was the fact that it was just three winning lanes, right? You, you've, you've picked the Rumble blind and got a Cassante, uh, and then they've picked the LeBlanc, you've picked the Lucian, that's two winning lanes already, and that's only in your first three picks. Yeah. You then get, what's Zaya 